If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Wild Card Wednesday drop, which did just go live about a few seconds ago, guys. Now, if you guys don't already know, one of the most important things you want to be doing on Wild Card Wednesday is, of course, checking out the auction block and, of course, checking out the solos, which I will get to in just a second. Before we get into the video, if you're already to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite heavyweight wildcard Wednesday-esque player. And guys, if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know. Are you guys excited for the month of November? I have a video coming out today to drop the month of November all upcoming content video, guys. It's going to be a banger month. It should be. And that's not including surprise stuff that we don't even know about, right? So I'm excited. We got Blitz. We have most, uh, I keep saying most feared Thanksgiving. And we have, we each have so much stuff coming out, guys. So get excited for that. And guys, if you guys need any coins, head on down below. You guys know the deal already. Use code Poodle. And if you guys didn't know, I partnered with Underdog Fantasy. You guys should see a short clip at some point throughout this video. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into this, guys. So first thing you want to do is go to your solos and go to the wildcard Wednesday solos. You know, the heavyweights, the veterans, the flashbacks. Make sure you're playing them weekly because every four weeks that you do actually go ahead and complete four sets of solos, you do get a free pack that gives you one of the free... It gives you a free top player from these drops. So like if there's five veterans today, you can get up to you can get any of those five veterans in a later at a later time when you do complete the four weeks of solos. So make sure you guys are playing that. They do expire weekly. So if you miss a week, you pretty much go back behind a week. So it is important that you guys do go ahead and do these as they do come. So make sure that you are going forward with that. I want to take a quick moment out of the video to introduce you guys to my new favorite daily fantasy app. I've recently partnered with them because I just love it so much. I want to get it out there. I want to promote it for you guys. I love this app. It's not like the typical daily fantasy app that you guys are so accustomed to using with all the complicated numbers and the complicated lines and the complicated lingo. It is so simple. I like to compare them to Apple. They make it simple for the user. It's pretty much dummy proof. And not in a mean way. I love that it's dummy proof because it's good for me. I can just... You can be at the store online trying to buy something and while you're waiting online make a do a pick them you could do a quick pick them player prop in seconds it is so simple to use the apps the, the ui is my favorite part the user interface is one of my favorite things i'm really big on user interfaces when a user interface works for me that's my app that is it and it's not like your typical daily fantasy like DraftKings type thing where you have to go ahead and make a whole group of players and typically you have to pick two or three trash players you know aren't going to do well because that's how the salary allows you to do. This app lets you pick who you like. And for instance, my favorite game mode is the pick'em. If I know that this Thursday, Jonathan Taylor is going to in a smash spot and he's going to kill it, I take the over. And then as I continue looking through, I'm like, okay, I think Carson Wentz is going to throw the under, right? Because that's just kind of how it works. You know, a running back goes off for a bunch of yards. Typically, the quarterback probably throws the under. And on the other side, if it's if it's going to if it's going to be a game where the Jets are behind, maybe Mike White throws the over if I like the line. And there you go. I suddenly have a three-group player prop where my cash gets multiplied, guys. And up to five players is what you can do. And you can get up to 20 times your money, which means you spend 20 bucks on that player prop. You can win a ton of money. You can win 400 bucks. You do $10, you can win 200 bucks. You do five, you can win 100 bucks. And guys, if you use my code Poodle while signing up or use my underdog link down below, which should include my code, although I would still use the code regardless to be safe, you get your initial deposit matched up to 100 bucks in bonus cash, which pretty much is just free money. That means if you deposit 100, you get 100. It's 100 free dollars to play with. You really can't go wrong with that. You could pretty much play at your heart's desire on their money. And I really love that they give you guys that offer with my code. So make sure you guys check it out. If you have any questions about it, hit me up on Twitter. My link will be down below. Comment down below. I will be fully willing to help you out with anything you guys need. So let me know. But let's get back to the video. And guys, as for always, if you guys want to see who comes out, you can go over to the objective list. So as you guys see here, the veterans, we've got Cole Beasley, Matt Prater, Darren Fells, Calais Campbell, and Deron Harmon. Veterans in the past have been very underwhelming. This year they've been a bit, they've been better, right? The wildcard Wednesday drops have been pretty decent, so I'm not exactly too concerned about this drop being absolute garbage. Now, one of my best things I can give you advice-wise, do not touch these. Do not touch the training offers for them. 7,400 training. The reroll is just not, I mean, unless there's a reroll, like it's glitchy at the moment, that's one thing, but just to do them, just to get them, I typically prefer to buy them with coins and then sell them back with coins. Unless you have a ton of training and you want to convert it to coins, that's very different. But in that case, again, that makes sense. But I wouldn't do it like as your way of getting them. It's really not the most valuable thing. I really wish they would kind of get rid of it. Although the only thing, like again, I see good from it is that it does help you convert training to coins. Let's say you, for whatever reason, like when Madden gifted people a ton of training early in the year, people did the training glitch, you were able to go ahead and convert it to coins and then sell those coins for actual cash, which is pretty cool. But you guys know the deal. 
never exactly the easiest thing to go ahead and do but let's go check out the new veteran cards and let's see kind of what we're working with here we saw the we saw the names right but we got to see the stats that's the important thing cole beasley on on name wise sounds like it's gonna be a trash madden card but you never know you could hook him up i don't think they will so i don't want to get you guys too excited for that one but cole beasley 92 overall player here let's see what we got he's the top guy 91 speed on a cole beasley card that's actually not bad that means we get a 92 speed powered up and a 93 overall that's actually not bad for cole beasley card 89 jumping he gets 92 catching powered up he gets 91 catch and traffic 88 spec 91 short 93 medium and 89 deep route running guys and i'm pretty sure he'll get slot matic as well or slot apprentice so this card actually might be really good now the deep route running with the right strategy card will go up to a 90 like if you have this go the go deep speed one that's a plus one to the deep he gets he's an all threshold route running receiver with 92 speed at five foot eight 92 agility he gets 92 change of direction he'll get 90 juking and 91 spin 89 carry great catch and traffic he'll get 88 break tackle guys this is actually a really good card do not sleep on this cole beasley card he could be really good in the slot although i don't really like seeing the you know the name cole beasley on my mutt team but that's a good card i will not crap on that card like i like i told you the name cole beasley says it's gonna be trash but we looked at the card and it's good it's a good card that is not bad at all so far i'll say that's one dub out of five thus far we have to go through and see the rest of course we got calais campbell next let's check this one out he's gonna be slow yeah 75 speed but 87 excel for a calais campbell card is actually really good as well 88 strength that's decent 88 tackles decent play rec 90 block shit 91 power move 90 again i'm gonna call this w number two just off the rip when you get 91 blocks when you get a 90 90 at power move and block shed out of a veteran card you're a dub you're six foot eight you're 300 pounds you're 82 jumping as well which is actually i guess I mean, he's really tall but that doesn't affect his jump i suppose 91 impact blocking 87 hit power now what i would recommend is you put him at defensive tackle he's going to be in a great run stopping defensive tackle as well as a good pass rusher out of that like that nose spot over there i would not put him at end he's too slow with the way quarterbacks are but like if you're trying to build a budget squad you can get calais campbell and then you get everson griffin and like montez sweat on the outside it's a pretty good defensive line pretty much all threshold as well i really like this calais campbell card i think he's actually a really good addition to a, a decent amount of you know budgety regular squad especially if you get him for free again i think defensive tackle is going to be a spot i'm gonna call that two out of five w's thus far and honestly if we hit three that's half and i think that's a good drop because veterans used to be over five like instantly darren fells now this is gonna be our first l more than likely darren fells we saw him yesterday 84 speed off the rip that's an l 82 strength 90 catching 84 catch and traffic 88 spec 88 short 82 medium 86 running block guys the best the only stat that actually makes me not want to cry is his run blocking 84 speed unusable 82 strength i guess um, I, I don't really care i guess for the run blocking 90 catching actually is pretty good 84 catch and traffic is garbage for a tight end 88 spec is garbage for a tight end 88 short running is not usable for a tight end 82 medium right running is not usable for a tight end like he's not getting any of these 90s he's a blocking tight end it is what he is right now again there's probably there's sometimes there's just better blocking tight ends than this like not this trash but again the only way i would see you using him and this is the problem his his price isn't going to match what you'll use him for which is why i think he's trash now if he was like an 86 overall and he was going to be like 40k for an 86 run block 90 strength tight end i mean 82 strength tight end I would like him, but he's going to be decently expensive for pretty much a glorified fullback. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't personally. I think that's one L out of the out of the three so far. So we're two for five still on dubs here. Let's see what we got next. We got the Ron Harmon free safety for the Falcons. Now he is six foot one, two of five. So good frame. He gets 90 speed, good speed. That'll be 91 powered up, 92 Excel, 93 Excel powered up, 80 tackle. So far, so good. 89 play rec powered up, 89 pursuit powered up, 89 man, 92 zone. With the right strategy card, again, he will get 90 man and 92 zone. And my opinion is, if you're starting a Deron Harmon card, you're probably not this big meta team, which means you probably don't have a speed boost-esque strategy card, which means you have room for regular strategy cards. So you can get him up to 90 man, 92 zone, and you can get him up to a 83 hit power with 91 speed, 93 excel, 6 foot 1, 205, with 87 agility, 75 catching. This card's a dub. This card's not bad. I guess it's just not a bad card. Like, again, I don't think... I don't think these are meta cards. I don't think everyone can use them. But the point is, we're at a point in Madden, guys, where you have to look at these cards for what they are. They're 91 overall veterans. They're not 95 overall Dan Marino. You know, they're not going to have stats that match higher overalls. For the overall, this is a good card. Like, I think this card's not bad. I think you take them for free and still be usable. Again, I don't think, you know, it's meta by any means. It's not bad. I'll go three for five. Because, again, veterans used to be so trash that I'm just happy to get cards that can see the field on certain teams. Next, we have Matt Prater, kicker for the Cardinals. 91 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. I'm not entirely sure what the highest kick power kicker is right now. I'd imagine this card isn't horrible. I don't think this is, I mean, 
Uh, I don't want to say this is an L. He's got 91 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. I don't, I don't want to call it an L just yet. Let's check kickers. Let's compare real quick to the top kickers. It's only 91 though. It might be a cheaper option into the kicking category, but let's just check it out. Um, it's a kicker. I mean, maybe it's just an L because it's a kicker. You know, it is what it is. People really don't kick in mud as much as you think. I mean, if you guys are like a real football heads and you think like kicking is a prominent thing, it's, it's really not in, in mud. But people rather throw the pick or go for it than give you a chance to get the ball, you know, in general. Um, okay, so we got Justin Tucker, record breaker. He's going to probably, he's probably going to destroy the other guy. He's got a 93 kick power. Okay, so Matt Prater is only one short. That's not bad, I guess. So Matt Prater, no, too short. Matt Prater is too short here. And similar kick action. So I'd say Matt Prater is, i say he's a W. Because if you think about it, right, Justin Tucker is only two kick power better and two kick accuracy better, and he's going to be a significant a lot amount, amount more money. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I think that I call Matt Prater dub. I'd say there are four or five. Four or five veteran cards are actually pretty good today um, in general, right? That makes sense. But guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, if you guys saw the quick little intro earlier of the underdog fantasy, if you guys have any questions, make sure to hit me up down below or hit me up on Twitter. I'll be sure to help you guys out there. Super awesome. I would definitely recommend trying it out. And of course, if you do use code Poodle or you use my link down below, or I'd recommend both just to make sure you're safe, you will get your first deposit matched up to hundred bucks. So pretty much it's a free hundred dollars. I have so many friends and family who have already used my offer and they're loving it. I'm playing on my offer. I just, I got all that free money, which I used to then win some back. It's just, it's just a great opportunity because for all you guys who always want to do like daily fantasy or player props, and, but you don't want to spend your own money, right? It just sucks to waste your own money if you don't know what you're doing. But if you get a free hundred bucks, you get to test. You get that trial period to learn while using their money. And when you know what you're doing, you can use your own money and keep winning, right? That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.